this protocol generates high throughput transcription data of individual human islet cells, which can be used to study endocrine cell heterogeneity, identify rare cell type, and gene regulation in disease. This technique generates larger scale single cell data, is easy to use, and has fairly short processing time. This method can be applied to islets from other species and to profile other freshly isolated tissues. However, the protocol needs to be optimized to suit tissue-specific dissociation procedures. It is critical to prepare high-quality dissociated cells. QC of the cell suspension before single-cell partitioning is key, as is handling the emulsion carefully and quickly. Some quality checkpoints, like knowing if a chip has clogged, are better seen than read. After obtaining human islets and incubating overnight, count and handpick 200 to 300 islets using a P200 pipette. Transfer the islets to a 15 milliliter conical tube containing 5 milliliters of complete islet media pre-warmed to 37 degrees Celsius. Place the tube in a centrifuge at 200 times G for 2 minutes. Gently aspirate the supernatant without disturbing the pellet on the bottom. Add 1 milliliter of pre-warmed cell dissociation solution and disrupt the pellet by pipetting gently up and down. Incubate the islets at 37 degrees Celsius for 9 to 11 minutes. Every 3 minutes, pipette up and down slowly for 10 seconds to dissociate the cells into single cells. Once the islets